Now. 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 It's time for the hottest show on the web. It's about that time, y'all. Here's your host, Lorenzo Ice T. <laughs> Uh, Cheryl Lynn breaking it down and Lorenzo getting my grown and sexy on. Right here on Hot 105, your station for R&B and old school. Welcome to the Lorenzo Thomas Show. That's right, I am rocking on your radio. And today we're going to talk to Joanne Reed from MSNBC, talking about politics here in South Florida. Also, Clarice Jenkins, Dr. Kiki will be in the building and I have your universal ticket. So keep it here for your chance to win on Hot 105, your station for today's R&B and Old school. Kick it off another hour here on Hot 105. Today's R&B and old school. Welcome to the Lorenzo Thomas Show. And I have your tickets to go to the Welcome to Hot 105 party hosted by Gabrielle Union. You know it's going to be star studded and you'll be in the building. Plus, she'll be in the studio today to talk about her new film and to let us know exactly how she and D-Wade hooked up in the first place. You never know who's going to be on Hot 105. The First Lady of the United States, Michelle Obama. Hey, how are you? I am doing great. Good to be speaking with you. Oh. I, I know you've been hanging out with my husband every now and then. Oh, you heard, huh? <laughs> Always putting it down. Dip, dip, dip. Some negativity out here. Well, I think, you know, people need to hear directly from me. Uh, mm-hmm. That's why I want to call into uh, a show like yours. Right. Only one in the world, in the country, in the universe. Lorenzo's going global. Worldwide, baby. Checking in with correspondents nationwide. Hot 105, today's R&B and old school. And of course, we are the station that's always out and about in the community. And once again, I'll be covering the Overtown Music Festival for Hot 105 and Celebrity Page TV. Let's get an inside look at the MIA with Lorenzo Thomas. Thank you very much. And once a year, the community comes together here in Overtown to celebrate music and arts. It's all brought to you by the Headliner Marketing Group. And I caught up with my good friend, Genuine. I love you, King. Love you too, man. How you doing, dog? I've been good. But we also want to keep you up to date with what's happening locally as well as nationally. And right now, let's check in with my good friend from MSNBC, Joy Ann Reed. Joy Ann, how are you? I'm good. You know, trying to survive the Trump apocalypse. How can can we disseminate information to my audience here in South Florida to where they can know what is fake and what is real? How can we secure the truth? Well, you know, I, I hate to say it, but one rule of thumb that I have is that if it's coming out of the current presidential administration, take mm. it with a huge grain of salt. It, it, well, he is really, anytime he speaks, he's speaking directly to his base. His base is who he's talking to. He's not necessarily in it to sort of get the truth out. Mm, that's so interesting. But the economy is good. Unemployment is low. He can Thanks, definitely... Thanks, Obama. Nah, that's right, Joanne. Thank you, Obama. And Joanne, thank you. You know, she always makes time out for the show. And good afternoon. Thank you for making me a part of your afternoon. And upcoming, we do have the segment, Tell Me Something I Don't Know. And the phone's they are already lit for that. Mm, I'm excited. And the ladies are excited for this one, too, in Opelok and Miami Gardens. Fantasia, free yourself right here on Hot 105. Maybe you don't know me to reintroduce myself. My name is Lorenzo. What have you learned from Beyonce and what has she learned from you? Well, you have to ask her what she learned from me. But, well, you know, just... <laughs> What I've learned from her is the same thing I learned from Micah, you know, and I know that's, I know it's very, it's blasphemy to compare the two, you know, because Mike was such an uh, uh, an innovator, you know, but I think she's like the second coming. I didn't hear you were at the Martin Luther King Monument. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Tell me about that experience, LeBron. Please, share that with me, man. Uh, I mean, it was so humbling, man, to be there in D.C. and actually see, you know, the monument and see all the words and passages that that, that great man and that great leader to this, uh, not only um, to America, but to the world. Our little five-year station for today's R&B and Old School will be broadcasting live from the ABFF. I'll be in the building, and in the building with me right now is Gabrielle Union. I've been teasing the Gab. Tell them the truth. I introduced you to Dwayne Wade. This is true. This is true. Because he was shy. Dwayne was shy. <laughs> he was very shy. Uh, and Miss Patty was there. It was a Super Bowl party we did back in 2007. We were actually dancing on the dance floor, and me and her were dancing. We went upstairs, and D-Wade was standing right there. And I said, D-Wade. Do you know Gabrielle? D. Wade said no. And Gabrielle said, Well, hi, Mr. Wade. How are you doing? And it's been, and it's been. Gosh. Well, it took him a minute after that. It took him a while. And, you know, because I was seeing someone else that you also know. <laughs> but yeah, that was the first time I actually had met him and knew who he was. And yeah, it was precious and quiet. And I was wild and dancing on table. 
Lorenzo Ice T. Thomas and Mary J. Blige. And make sure you tune into the LL Radio Show this Monday. And, and, and Mary, you, I know you're going to call me back, right? <laughs> yes, I'm definitely going to call you to talk about this album, to promote this album, to, you know, to get people on it. Thank you, Mary. And don't forget to join me July 25th through the 29th in Montego Bay, Jamaica for the JJO at Reggae Sunfest. It's my 11th year and your chance to win a trip or get qualified is coming up. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I want to vibe today's R&B and old school. That's my dog of the one and two. DJ DP is the grown and sexy mix. Just wrapping up another edition. Now make sure you check us out tomorrow, 456. We do it each and every day and it's being brought to you by at and I'll check you out next time, DP. Coming up right around the corner, we do have Sean Belair with the traffic. You know, he's the prince of all that. But before we get to that, I need you to hit me up on the phone lines. It's now time for... It's now time for the Tell Me Something I Don't Know segment. As you know, there's a movie coming out July 6th with the approval of Whitney Houston's estate. Mm -hmm. And the bombshell allegation is is in this whole thing is that Dionne Warwick's sister, Dee Dee, who's been dead for 10 years, Mm. is alleged to have been sexually abusing Whitney and her brother, Gary. Wow, I did not know that. I 105, today's R&B and old school. It's the Lorenzo Thomas Show. Or I should say it's the ladies of Lorenzo part of the show. <laughs> it's that because each week we select a single mom who is dedicated to their children and is battling with life challenges, right? Now, How 105, along with the Lorenzo Thomas Foundation for Women's Sports and Children, offer a variety of programs and a $1,000 shopping spree. She doesn't know it yet, but I have her on the line right now. Hello, Tracy Collins. This is Lorenzo Thomas from Hot 105. How are you? I'm fine. Hi, Lorenzo. Hi. You guys are probably wondering why I'm calling you, right? Yes. Well, well, I'm calling you because do you remember the letter that you sent in? You sent in the letter for drama of the day? Yes. Yes, I I remember. Tracy, I I, I read the letter, and I'm not going to go into details now, but... You know, my foundation, along with Hot 105, we want to give back to uh, single moms, those that are in need, and however we can help. So you're going to receive a $1,000 shopping spree from Hot 105. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? Thank you so much. You You don't know what this means. You are so welcome. I do know you know, but thank you. And in the letter you wrote about how you were separated from your husband and you lost your job. And I couldn't remember exactly. How many children is it that you have? Four. Four children. So I hope that this will be able to to help you out because that's what we're here for we love to give back to the community and to those that are in need bless your heart thank you so much well, tracy you know lorenzo loves the ladies and the ladies love lorenzo at one station thank you to you you are so welcome and what station is looking out for you hot 105 lorenzo's rocking on the radio